UDP, User Datagram Protocol, defined in RFC 768, which is probably one of the simplest RFCs you will read, provides connectionless transport in the internet. UDP does not add anything other than multiplexing and demultiplexing on top of what network layer provides. Using UDP, the packets are still delivered best effort, no order delivery is guaranteed, and there is no connection establishment or maintenance. Reliable transfer over UDP is still possible, if implemented at the application layer. UDP header contains source and destination port numbers, length of the segment, and a checksum field for minor error detection. You might ask, if UDP is not providing anything other than multiplexing and demultiplexing, why should we choose for an application to use UDP over TCP? UDP does not establish or maintain connection. Therefore, it does not impose additional delay to the communication, and it is a lot simpler. It has a very small header, as we saw. And therefore, it does not introduce massive overhead to the communication. It does not have congestion control, and therefore, it could be faster and provide more control on scheduling when to send the packets out of the sender. For these reasons, it could be used for applications like multimedia streaming, and is used by known protocols like DNS and SNMP. Can you guess for which of the named reasons? We saw UDP has a very simple header. One of UDP header fields is checksum. Checksum implements a simple error detection mechanism. UDP checksum is the once complement addition of all of the 16-bit words in the segment, including the header fields. Once complement means converting all the ones to zero and all the zeros to one. It is computed at the sender and added to the checksum field. The receiver computes the checksum of the received segment similarly and compares the computed value with the checksum field's value. If they match, no error is detected. If they do not match, the receiver has detected an error. Note that not detecting an error does not mean receiver is sure there was no error in the transmission. The receiver just did not detect any errors in the received packet using the checksum. For checksum computation, the UDP segment including all header fields is treated as a sequence of 16-bit words, and those words are bitwise added together. Let's see bitwise add of two words and computation of the checksum value for them. First, we add the bits starting from the least significant bit. The carryout of the summation from the most significant bit is wrapped around to the least significant bit, yielding the sum. And computing the ones complement yields the final checksum. It is important to note again that checksum is a weak mechanism for error detection. This is because it is only deciding on the sum of all values. And if there are enough number of bit flips to nullify the effect on the sum, the receiver would not be able to detect the error. For example, in the depicted calculation, if the last two bits of the second word are flipped, the sum would reflect the error. However, if the last two bits of both of the words are flipped, even though different values are in the original 16-byte words, the checksum value will not be changed, and therefore no error would be detected. 